Hey, this is Dr. Jason. I am here with Arts today. What we're going to do right now is we're going to talk about carpal tunnel. Carpal tunnel is a really perfect word, I think. What ends up happening is all of these muscles in the forearm, both the flexors and the extensors, feed down and articulate or help move the fingers. If you're working on a mouse all day long or you're working on a laptop, any sort of movement that you're doing with your hands repetitively, what ends up happening is all the blood flow fills up in this area and they move down into this tunnel and it has to feed into the hands. Well, that tunnel is a really tight tissue. It's called a ret retinaculum. It's like if I took tape and I wrapped it around his wrist, that doesn't flex a lot. So what we have to do is get that to flex and move and release all the tension through the forearm and into the hand to take away the pressure around the, the, what we call the carpal tunnel. So I'm going to work back and forth. The, the fun thing today is I'm actually going to use phaser products in conjunction with Theragun. Some of you may be familiar with this, some of you may not. I love these products. I use them all the time. This sort of treatment is the perfect treatment to combine Theragun with its releasing of the tension and decreasing pain with the phaser products. So what I'm going to do first of all, I'm going to start with the Theragun. We're going to kind of work that area. I'm going to start with this dampener. This is a little bit softer approach. I don't want to go right at that area. If this patient is currently experiencing pain in the carpal tunnel, I don't want to stimulate that pain. I want to relax that pain. So I'll start with this dampener and then we'll move to what we call the wedge. It's a little bit broader contact. Helps me kind of flush and move blood around in that body. So we're going to start here. Just have him rest his arm in my hand. And I'm just kind of generally treating this whole area. As I'm doing this, I'm, I'm assessing for tissue quality. I'm feeling where the tension might be. I'll come all the way down into that wrist. And I'm going to go back and forth across that area, that retinaculum, really light. I don't want to stimulate the nerves. You let me know if that bothers you at all, okay? I'm going to rotate around. You want to be careful in this area. There are nerves and vital vessels that feed into the hand. You don't want to stimulate that, those nerves. You can see I'm using my hand back here to brace, to kind of regulate how much pressure I'm applying. I just want it to be nice and easy pressure. I want this to feel like a massage to the patient. After I've done that for about a minute, from tip of the fingers up to the top of the elbow, I want you to kind of move that around, make some fists. Loosen that up a little bit. I'm going to stretch just a little bit here, stretch here, kind of open that up. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this tool, phaser tool, get a little bit of this. Put some on the, this area, up here on the muscles, the flexors. <clears throat> what we're going to try and do, we just want to increase some of that blood flow to this area. Superficially, we want to be right out on the edge. As I come down in here, you can bend the elbow just a little bit. I'm not pushing, just gliding this around. I want to loosen up that tissue. The retinaculum is white tissue. The reason it's white is it doesn't have a lot of blood flow. Red is, is muscles and there's blood in there. White means that's avascular. So what I have to do is I've got to increase the blood flow in those areas by just kind of causing a little bit of irritation with this. So it's called controlled trauma. I'm kind of controlling how much inflammation I cause in this area. I'll come all the way down into the hand, back and forth across this. Right in there. Are you feeling that okay? Mm -hmm. I love these tools. You can really feel all the anatomy in there. You can feel where I want to loosen up and lighten up a little bit. 
then in these thick kind of meaty areas, I can really dig in there, <laughs> rotate around. If you've been trained on how to use these, you obviously know to be careful of the bones. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of use the, the softer end, just kind of loosen up these muscles, get the blood flowing back and forth up to the heart. You can see I'm sweeping back up this way. I don't want to push the blood down into the hand. It causes pressure down there. It's going to make that manifest even more. So I'm going to kind of sweep it up this way. Hit that just a little bit more with that soft end. Kind of increase all the way around. Set this down. Now I'm going to move to the wedge. I'm going to just start flushing that blood back up into the heart. So just kind of have him rest here. Just going to move this way. What I'm doing is I'm lifting, sweeping with pressure up, lift, and sweep with pressure up towards the heart. So sweep this way. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here, just kind of loosen up these muscles. This wedge, if you use it properly, it shouldn't cause any pain. You okay? Last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take the dampener, and I'm literally going to go right on the retinaculum, right on the carpal tunnel. I'm going to rest his hand in my hand. I'm just going to slowly go back and forth across that. What this is doing is it's increasing blood flow at the very end of the treatment. It's taking away any sort of pain we may have caused with the, with the treatment we were doing before. Now, that's how to treat the carpal tunnel. There's some exercises I would have him do throughout the day to not let that pressure build up because that's usually what happens. If you can imagine pumping your fist all day long, eventually that's going to become irritating. So we want to be able to flush the blood away, treat with both phaser and theragun to be able to increase the range of motion and increase the blood flow in these white tissue areas. This is a great way to treat uh, carpal tunnel. This is something I would recommend having your physio do for you. It's not something you should do for you on yourself. You can kind of keep that issue at bay using the Theragun on yourself, but this full treatment with the phaser, I'd recommend you do that with your therapist. That's a great way to treat carpal tunnel. Good luck.